I got a comment. It's the first comment I've got in years on one of my videos. Um, so I thought I'd, I'd address it. Because it's interesting what he says. The, the weird thing is when I read it, I thought, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> I had to re-watch the video to see what it was that he was referring to. And to be fair, when I watched the video back, bearing in mind his comment, he kind of has a point, I think. So he starts off with, are you bitter due to a bad critique? Let's start with that. Let's start with that. Honestly, you know, when I watched the video back, yeah, it looks, I do sound bitter. But the, th the fact is, I just hate critics. I just think they're idiots. Well, not idiots. I just think the whole existence of professional criticism is frustrating. It's frustrating that, that there's the artwork and then there's the critic and then there isn't a third tier. You know, there isn't anybody sort of like saying to the critics, oh, you can't do that, you can't say that, or you mustn't do that, the way that they say that we artists can't say and mustn't say. Um, and as far as bad critiques go, I've never had... I'm not successful enough <laughs> to have had a bad critique. The, 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 the feedback I've got has, has been positive, and I can sort of show you. I mean, all you have to do is look up my books on, I'm, on, on Amazon Kindle. There's not much, not much feedback. There, see, uh, my, my second parallel book, Lost Meets Planet of the Apes, has got one, it's got one rating. It's a five-star rating, so that's, that's, that's quite nice. And let me click on the right thing. And the comment is... Uh, second part of the Sinclair trilogy, and they're very different than the first book, it's just as enjoyable. This is obviously an unusual story, lots of film references. Oh, that possibly shouldn't be there. Um, absurd situations throughout, blah, 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 Great characters, genuinely very well written. Genuinely very well written. See, that's the kind of comments that I get. I, you can see I'm not hiding anything here. Right, open parallel book, f book one, four ratings. So look there, three, two, two five stars, two. I don't quite know how that works. Oh, four ratings. Four global ratings. Out of those four ratings, 53% say five stars and 47% say three stars. What? <laughs> How does that work out mathematically? But there you go. Uh, and it said, this is a very funny, intriguing story, well written and likeable, um, likeable characters. I will point out, in the interest of uh, full disclosure, that's what they say, isn't it, when they're selling a house to you? Um, Sean Hornby wrote both of these reviews and he's a friend of mine, so, you know, but I'm, I'm just pointing out the fact that there are no bad reviews on here. I mean, he's a friend of mine, I've not actually spoken to him in person for a long time. I used to work with him like, I don't know, 20 years ago, something like that. Um, I, we've, we're friends on Facebook, we, I've not seen him in a long time. So it's not like I encouraged him either to buy the book or to give them reviews. Uh, the other review here... There's a one star rating. You can see my other books here have no ratings at all. So no ratings equals no bad ratings. So like I say, I'm trying my best to show, to demonstrate I'm not hiding anything. Open that in the new thing. Uh, I lost the game. I just lost the game. Uh, it's the name of the book. It's about the game. You think about the game, you lost it, blah, blah, blah. And again, Deborah Wells. Such a great read. Full of hilarious stories about life as a drama student. Very well written. Impossible to put down. Impossible to put down! Uh, the way you get to know characters throughout the book is excellent. I just lost the game. Oh, one person found this helpful. I wonder who that was. Again, I will, I will, I will point out Deborah Wells uh, is her married name. Her, her, her maiden name is Chapman, same as mine. That's my sister. So, uh, full disclosure, I'm pointing out, I, I, you know, I'm not trying to pull the wool over anyone's eyes here. I'm simply reacting to being accused of having had a bad critique when I, I haven't. I have had, well, I think one of the reasons why I, oh, I, oh, I have reacted to criticism is that when I was much younger, I used to write things for competitions. And without exception, I would always get feedback basically telling me to follow the rules. You know, my feedback, I, I, did, I wrote a romantic comedy once, and the feedback I got was that it was very good, but what, what the script really needed was to have an element in the second act where the two either were separated or where they fall out. So then the third act, it's about them getting back together. And as soon as I read that, I thought, yeah, that's what every romantic comedy does. And it just annoyed me that I was advised to take the path more treaded. So, you know, there is an element of personal experience in my criticism of, of, of critics. Uh, it's also, you know, if you look at that, I, I say critics are idiots and that nobody should be able to criticise something, and then immediately after that, I do a, a little critique on, I can't remember which film, it's on a film. It, I was being kind of ironic, you know, which, again, having read what he's said and then looked at the video again, I can see it probably doesn't come across like that at all. But there you go. So, yeah, I just wanted to show, so that, and there's my, my scripts as well. I'm a script writer. 
I've written eight scripts, six of which are in circulation among, uh, have been for years, in film festivals. And I've won several awards and nominations, um, over 20. I'm not sure, I've lost, kind of lost count now. Right, these are my script one, two, three, four, five, six. Man in a Monster is actually a film I made in 2017. Uh, which also has won loads of awards. No, no, it's, uh, um, official selections. That's where it's basically nominations. So look, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That just looks like a blank thing. It's because it's a black, a laurel, a laurel to, to, that, that you can put on your posters and stuff to indicate that you've won awards. Um, and it's a black laurel on a plain background. So that's why it just looks like a black thing there for some reason. I don't know why you can't see the white, but yeah, anyway. Nine official selections for that movie. End, middle, beginnings, got four. Official selections, which means nominated but not won. It will bring them back. I thought that script, because the idea for that one I thought was kind of unique, and I thought the idea for that script would make it a winner, but it's, it's, it's got four nominations, less than a lot of my other scripts. The idea is based on the, the old cliche in movies where killing them won't bring your family back. And so I wrote a story about a universe where killing the person that killed the one that you loved does bring your loved one back. So it's all this complicated thing about he kills her, so her boyfriend kills him, and then his wife kills the boyfriend to bring her husband back. It's a series of stories. It's kind of like, I, I, I hesitate to compare myself to it because there's nothing like it, quite honestly. But in, in a Pulp Fiction sort of sense, it's a series of individual stories that end up having links to each other. And they're all stories about revenge and about bringing the loved ones back. Santa, part one of three. Uh, there's a trilogy. It's a Christmas trilogy I wrote. This is just the first part. So that's one of a few. Secrets and Truth, right? Uh, has done really well. That's one, two, and been selected for three. Which I am thinking of making that film myself, actually, because it's set entirely in a pub with five, about five friends. I wrote it deliberately to be easy to film. So I can show you. This is, this is to demonstrate that I've won. So, in the, so the, the, what they've done here is they've sent me a series of questions which they asked me to answer in order that they can publish that um, on, their, on their website showing you know, about the writers and about the scripts that have won these awards. You know, I'm an award, I'm literally an award-winning script writer. I just, the problem is I haven't sold a script yet. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only problem. That's the downside. Like this first question is, is kind of a compliment in itself. Uh, the group of friends meeting up in a pub is a classic trope in movies and TV shows. Here, you managed to make it fresh and original. So, uh, you know, all I'm doing here is I'm showing off, basically, is what I'm doing. I wasn't going to do this. I was never going to do this. Um, because that's not, the, that's not the important thing. But that, that, that man's comments has kind of spurred me on. Just to demonstrate, I'm not bitter. I've had a lot of great feedback and no real bad feedback. Nothing terrible. The only bad feedback I've ever got, like I said before, is advice on how to improve what I've written. But never have I had a, like a terrible critique. And my movie, Man in a Monster, we showed it at the cinema in Ripon, at the Curzon Cinema, and it went down a storm. People were laughing like hell. Uh, the, the, we interviewed them afterwards and the, the, they were all saying how it was, it was very well constructed, very funny, great characters, great performances, you know, and well put together. You know, I, I have had throughout my writing life a lot of great feedback. The problem is I haven't had a great deal of success in the sense of, you know, getting an agent. The, prob the, the, the real problem there is, is that I love to write, I love to make films, I love to create. Uh, firstly, I, I suffer from an, a, a massive lack of ambition. I've never been that fussed about, you know, being famous. I mean, I, I, maybe, maybe I'm afraid of that in, in a little way. Because with fame does come criticism and backlash. So by being under the radar, I managed to avoid all that. You know? And actually, I think my confidence in, in my work, in my writing, based on the stuff I've just shown you and all the compliments I've got throughout my life, throughout my whole life, you know, I've been writing for 30 years, um, have given me the confidence to feel good about what I do with my writing, to feel like I'm, I'm good at it and that it's, uh, it's, it's positive. And that confidence is what allows me to get in front of this camera and upload these videos criticising the things that I want to criticise because I feel like I've got a voice. I've got a voice that people want to listen to. People have even responded to these videos, not the recent ones, but the ones I did in the past, saying that they're very entertaining, we like what you have to say, they're funny, they're blah blah blah. I had a criticism once. I did, I did a film, it was a short film, it was like a mock movie trailer about a sinkhole. There was a sinkhole in Ripon where I lived. Um, and and the, the Sainsbury's had to close down because there was a suspe suspected sinkhole inside the building. And this spurred me on to do a mock 
movie trailer called Sinkhole the Movie. And we just did all this thing about how it was aliens. And we shot around Ripon and I did some special effects with buildings. You know, Ripon buildings being sucked under the, in, into the ground and stuff. And, and I posted it on YouTube and linked it to Facebook. And it went sort of viral, locally viral. Everyone in Ripon seemed to see it. It was a really amazing um, experience because for about two weeks after that, people were coming up, people who I knew were coming up to me saying, I saw your video, Chris was great. People who I didn't know were coming up to me saying, I love your video, keep it up. And it was, we couldn't, we couldn't walk down the street, me and the, the girl that made it, we couldn't walk down the street without someone coming up and saying, I love your video, it was great. It was like fame for two weeks and then suddenly I was anonymous again. And it was a really, it was a fantastic experience, but I'm not sure it's something I would want to happen all the time because there's a part of you that sort of thinks, oh, I, I can't face it today, I don't want to go out. Just in case somebody comes up and says your video, shit. Luckily, we didn't get that. Might have eventually done. If we'd done more videos, you know, we, there would have been a backlash probably eventually. Yeah, so this video obviously got loads of comments, lots and lots of positive comments, and a few negative ones. People sort of saying, it's a sinkhole, you shouldn't make light of it, people could have been hurt, things like that. Fair enough, uh, you know, absolutely um, and genuine. Um, but there was one comment that said, don't give up your day job. <laughs> Which is like, oh, really? That's so lazy. Don't give up your day job. So I replied to that comment. I was kind of pleased with my reply because at the time, I was a professional videographer. <laughs> so I replied to don't give up your day job with, you know, well, considering I'm a professional videographer, I'll take that as a compliment, thanks. So I was kind of pleased with that. I kind of fell in my lap, to be honest. That wasn't me being particularly witty. It was just like the logic was there. Anyway, wherever your personal choice, don't be shit. I'll be shit if I want to be shit, all right? Don't tell me not to be shit. So you're what? An amateur writer who publishes on Amazon. Amazon publishing is just a commission-based tool serving only Amazon. I don't, I don't really know why he's written that. Because I never said it was anything other than that. I mean, that's, in a way, that's, that, that demonstrates that that's part of the reason why I mention my books on these videos. Because Amazon aren't going to advertise them for me. So I'm trying to do that. So I don't really know why he said that. But anyway, uh, if you were any more bitter, you'd be a lemon. <laughs> the only thing making me bitter is this comment, <laughs> to be honest. So, oh, 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 oh.